This morning we're preparing uh, to launch our expedition by just totally outfitting every student with everything that they'll need to travel comfortably in the backcountry. I'm here to go on a 10-day pack rafting and backpacking trip up in northern Montana. We're going on the mountains to Missouri course. We're going to be backpacking in the Badger 2 Medicine and then we're going to get our resupply and we're going to be pack rafting the Dearborn River. I want to learn more mountain skills and river skills, uh, make new friends, meet new people, just have a good time. I'm going to be editing out into this corner and the people who haven't practiced flipping over in their kayaks will get very wet this morning. The current's not very fast, and the eddy is very strong. It pulls you back in. So it's unlikely that they would not be able to get their boat and swim it back into the eddy after exiting. What I would tell someone is try it once. The worst that's going to happen is you're going to fall out of your boat and the adrenaline will make it all worth it and all your fears will go away. Yeah, so today we're launching our 21 day uh, Yellowstone adventure course. On this expedition, we're gonna be doing hiking, pack rafting, uh, fly fishing. We're also going to be doing a first aid class and it's going to be great. I can't wait to learn that. And after 21 days, we're going to come back here and then head home. What we're going to learn today is how to splint a lower leg injury and how to splint a lower arm injury. They'll get the chance to assess in a scenario setting a patient with an injury and kind of try to put it all together so that they can do a good airway assessment, breathing assessment, circulation assessment, and then control any life threats that this patient might have. We wrapped his leg because there's a lot Stop of bone breathing. and put some gauze. And now we're making a, a salmon in the sam splint because we're pretty positive that the bone is broken. And if it's sticking out, we need to stabilize it. Yeah, so then we'll get him out of here. <laughs> and the idea here is we want students to gain some competencies in wilderness medicine so they can take care of themselves and their friends if, if they were to get injured on a, either on a course or you know when they're out recreating um, individually after, after their course. We are in Yankee Jim Canyon on the Yellowstone River. These rapids through Yankee Jim are Really fun, class two, three, kind of pool drop rapids. You have lots of big waves, uh, big splashy waves, and then a nice calm spot to recollect after each rapid. So I think there are probably three or four distinct rapids through here, and they're gonna go try them out. I'm thinking that the line we should take is the one on the other side, because there's a big fat honking rock right there, and you gotta stay to the right side of the river. We have learned the skills to make it through. Even if we do flip, we'll be okay. an edge weird like I was I was pretty straight onto the wave but the other like wave came at my side and I flipped so I knew what to do and then Andrew came and saved me so I he dragged me out people come from all over the world to paddle these rivers and fish on on the Yellowstone and specifically and for local kids to have a chance to do that and when it's in their own backyard and to get some skills so they can come out with their friends or their family uh, it's just really important Today the students are going to get up in the air and do some challenges up high, some, 
some rope action. The first one is called static. That's the plan. Things went well. Uh, that last one, it was like a foot higher than the other one, so I kind of had to finagle my way onto it. But besides that, I mean, it went pretty smoothly. They didn't seem to like, I didn't really even have any like problems. I mean, they just kind of did it on command, you know? Like I didn't really even say anything besides, oh, can we get a little closer? I mean, they kept me balanced. They, they had it really figured out down there. So uh, we're pulled over for the day at our camp for the evening and we're going to have a quick lesson on public lands and how they're managed in the U.S. Uh, it's important that the conversation comes up in these courses because we travel so much on public lands. Introducing that to the youth of Montana and uh, developing their own public land conservation ethic is a really important part of these courses. On this trip, we've been passing through public lands and we've been talking about the importance of them and how there's chances that we could lose access to these places in the future. And so it's really important that we're educated on them so that we can come back and keep doing trips like this and other people can have the same experiences. We wrote letters to our representatives, Greg Gianforte and Steve Daines, because it's really important to make sure that the people that have power know what the majority wants so that we can protect these lands. Uh, this is my third Montana Wilderness Expedition. So the first one I did 10 days, then second time was two weeks. And I feel like the three weeks have really just helped me realize that I can adapt into nature like super easily. As I add on my weeks, I also add on how much I know about myself and how I can like climb mountains and go down huge rapids through pack rafts and stuff. I definitely have a better appreciation for nature. I like the lessons we learned and like having to like leave no trace and pick up everything that we've left and just like have everything like with us. And then like experiencing it too, like I want to save it for more people. Like I just like, I want it to be there for more people to see because it was just so cool. It's really important that we protect these places so that they can enjoy it. Absolutely no regrets. It was just absolutely incredible. At first you're kind of just like, why did I choose this? But then in the end you're like, woohoo, this is so awesome. I would tell prospective students that they should definitely do it. Um, you won't regret it. You're going to learn a lot about yourself and how to take care of yourself in new situations and it's completely worth it.